Hi, I'm Joanne Bluen and I'm joined by Sue Maynard and Sue has joined me today to tell me about a few of her published books. I think the first one you want to talk about is Carving the Lake? That's right. Um, it is the one that I wrote first in 2009. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> I wrote it because uh, there's a few reasons actually. One was uh, November every year is National Novel Writing Month. Um, it's an online challenge, let's call it, <laughs> around the world. I think it's based in the U.S. though, where um, people are challenged to write at least 50,000 words of a novel in the month of November. So 50,000 words, 30 days, every year. <laughs> and that was my, I'd always kind of wanted to try it. That was my first year of trying it because I, I needed something to do and <laughs> some kind of a distraction. And um, I'd had um, a course, a few courses I took at Ryerson, but there was one that I took where I'd invented these characters, but I never gave them a story. It was just sort of every homework assignment, I kept using the same people. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll use that for my nano novel. I'll just like <laughs> throw them all together and give them an actual story to tell. And, um, and it just sort of came out from there. And so I, I was like, I think I hit it 55,000 words and I got it all done in the month and then edited forever after <laughs> that. So did you win the competition? Um, technically, there, everybody, the people who complete the challenge are winners, <laughs> <laughs> but there's nobody reading your stuff, there's nobody checking to make sure you didn't write, you know, All Work and No Play makes Jack a Doll Boy <laughs> 50,000 times. Um, it's more just uh, on the honor system and just to push you to, to write and put pen to paper or hand to keyboard as it were. <laughs> so. so I have two questions for you. Go ahead. <laughs> what gave you the idea for the book and how did you go about getting it published? Okay, the idea, um, apart from just wanting to give the girls a story, um, I had, it basically is about three sisters who are all in their late 30s, early 40s. Um, their parents were killed when they were young and none of one of them is where they kind of could be or should be at that point in their life. Like none of them are married, <laughs> uh, none of them have children, they're all just sort of working in their dead end jobs. The one, the youngest sister still, like, trying to find her way through college to get like a degree that she can use because um, she keeps changing her mind and um, I wanted to because I've looked around and I'm like I'm, I'm these girls I don't have <laughs> a family and a career to speak of so I wanted to write a story that was about people who are vastly different from people in my parents generation because by this point in my parents generation they all had stuff they were their careers they had their families they had bought a house already and no none of my friends are like that no. i'm not like that so sorry i think i just touched my mic there <laughs> i'm not like that so um i wanted to have sort of a more realistic portrayal of people right now and it's not that they're like so caught up in their career and they're like business women or anything they're just lost and they haven't sorted out who they are or what they want to do like a lot of many people yeah <laughs> like we are <laughs> So, um, and the other thing was I wanted to have, and I always thought it would be a movie in my head, but I wanted to have a story that had one central character be gay, but without the story being about them being gay. I just wanted it to be one of their characteristics. So I made one of the sisters gay, and there is like a coming out scene and stuff. But other than that, it's kind of backstory. <laughs> More than anything, it's not what the story is about. So. So you're going to autograph one of these for me after, right? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in, Sue. It's been a Thank pleasure. Thank you for having me. No problem. <laughs> we'll have you back on again when you do your next book. Perfect. <laughs> Give me a couple of months. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. And we'll be back with more later.